Hello everybody, I hope you're well and that you've uh, enjoyed the return to school. Um, apologies for looking like I do, I've just come in off the playing fields. Um, so yeah, it's been cold and wet outside. Um, a final update for you on our evolution expedition, which now that we're back at school is coming to an end. Um, but I'm delighted to say that we've made some brilliant progress over the past um, nine or ten weeks since lockdown began and that um, we've made some fabulous achievements. In fact, we've travelled a total of 40,967 kilometres as a community in that period. Darwin's journey in total was 60,000 kilometres, so we've completed two-thirds of his journey. It took him five years. We've done it in ten weeks. Also, interesting to note, that a complete circumnavigation of the globe, if you were to travel from point to point by the quickest route possible, would be 40,075 kilometres. So as a community, we have circumnavigated the globe and then gone a little bit further, which is an amazing um, achievement. So well done to everybody and thank you for your contributions. Clearly, Darwin didn't do it that way, um, and therefore his journey was a lot longer than a circumnavigation of the globe. Um, but we have done two thirds of that journey, and we find ourselves now in the middle of the Indian Ocean, um, just past the Cocos Islands. So if I show you on a map, I haven't drawn my last line at this point, um, but you can see where the word Indian Ocean is written, and the cross, that is almost exactly where we are, the cross just above the Indian Ocean. And that's where our journey is going to end. A huge thank you, as I say, to everybody who's contributed to the journey. Um, it's been amazing to see the community come together in, in, in such a way during difficult times and to see um, well over 250 members of that community making a contribution to the journey and the expedition as a whole. Final standings for everybody, final totals in the competition uh, between the different elements of our community. So parents have uh, won the distance with a total distance of 18,000 608 kilometres and there are some final entrants to the 100 club to give a shout out to. The first one is Mrs Day and she needs a particular shout out because she has made it into the 100 club whilst completing the expedition at altitude as she is trekking at the moment in, in Nepal so an unbelievable experience or, or achievement from her um, because her distance is far greater than the, um, the kilometres that she's actually covered due to the altitude so well done to her. There's also Mr and Mrs McCready, who made it into the 100 Club, and Mrs Scott, who's made it into the 100 Club from the parent body. So a huge well done to them. Uh, in second place in the competition are the students, who've racked up 11,381 kilometres, and they have three new entrants to the 100 Club. Um, so Saria Suresh and Frank and Ava Yates have all made it into the 100 Club, so a huge well done to them. And finally, the staff, who have made it um, a total of 10,978 kilometres. Um, and there are no new entrants to the 100 Club amongst the staff, but they have closed the gap on the pupils significantly from where they were at one point during the expedition. So again, a massive thank you to everybody who has contributed. Um, a massive well done to all of you. Thank you so much for being a part of it and for making it happen. Um, and, and thank you for everything you've done during lockdown to keep safe, keep active and keep healthy.